So this time we're going to work uh, on an entry into the saddle position if our opponent like drops down to a half kneeling position. So maybe Darren was trying to pass standing and he found that like I was getting close to uh, getting the sweeps or attacking the legs. He, well, a common reaction he'll get is he'll drop down to one knee and post on one foot. So the first thing I want to do is get my two feet inside. So you can see my left leg and my right leg are in between his legs and then I'm going to grip the back of his calf or just behind his knee to stop him from pulling his leg away. So once I get my feet in position and my hand in position, I take a collar tie and I start to scoop my hips in. And keep my elbow tucked nice and tight. If I flare my elbow, this allows Darren to punch an underhook and then eventually start passing from here. So again, two feet are inside, so we'll just turn around this way here. But I've actually got my two feet inside, laces behind his Achilles, I grab just behind the knee or above the calf, and I get my collar tight. Elbows nice and tight, scoop my hips forward, and I want to connect my uh, forehead to Darren's shoulder. I, when I'm in this position, I'm really trying to concentrate on like where his weight is. So if his weight is forward, say onto his, his left leg, normally I would go into single leg X and then we can go into our different entries from here. Or uh, the other option that he has is he's going to keep the weight on his back leg. So if he puts his weight onto his back leg, that's the entry we're going to go over now. So we, we get our grips, scoop my hips in, really important, I get my hips underneath my trend pattern hips so I can get good elevation. The further my hips are away, the harder it is and it's going to be to elevate and I'm kind of using more energy and more muscle. So again, I want to get my hips underneath, forehead connects to the shoulder, elbows tight. I sit back, press off my right foot, elevate with my left leg and I shoot my right knee through here. Once my right knee goes out, I bring it back in, cross my feet, and then we bring our training partner down to the floor. We're ready to start attacking heel hooks from here. So again, arm standing, maybe I was off balancing him or managing to get on, get on the legs a couple of times. So we went to like a combat base or a half kneeling position. So two feet are in the inside. Next step, I get my laces behind his Achilles. I grab his calf or just behind his knee. I get collar tight and I close the distance. So I scoop my hips forward. I can feel that Darren's weight is mostly on his back leg, so that's his, his right leg. So I pull him forward. I'm gonna put my two shoulders on the mat. I elevate with my left leg. And once this happens, you can see the weight goes onto his hands. So that's your cue here for, for you to start tacking the legs. I shoot my right knee through. Hand goes onto the armpits. We have our 90 degree angle. Knee comes back in, cross our feet. And then we're in the saddle where we can start tacking. So again, we'll do it from the same angle, so Darren drops down to one knee, two feet inside, hook the back of the Achilles, grip behind the knee, elbows tight, collar tight, and I shoot my hips in. Now I get good elevation. So the weight is on his back leg, I'm going to press off the floor with my right leg, so that's going to be the initial press, and then I elevate with my left leg to put the weight onto the hands. Or we can bring our knee out, then back in, and cross our feet. So we'll do one more time slow. So he steps in, we get our feet into position, elbows tight, pressing the right foot off the mat, elevating with our left leg. So we're gonna like kick our left leg towards our left shoulder, and then we shoot our knee out. Knee comes back in, we cross our feet, and then we can bring them down to the floor. So we'll try one more in real speed. 